It's gruesome and morbid to think about, but necessary. Edmonton police taking part in a new study to help them understand what happens to human remains if a scavenger gets there first. Think birds, bears, or even coyotes. Searching for, for human remains is obviously a difficult task to do, so the more information we can get through Dr. Forbes, uh, the better our entire police service will be. Well, the study will help everyone. It's the canine unit specifically that often gets called when human remains are found. They're in the process of finding and training a new body sniffing dog. About 10 to 15 percent of cases per year would involve some form of scavenging and potentially scattering the remains. And once the remains are scattered, that's really the challenge is how to find those remains if we don't understand where they've gone, how far they've gone, which direction they've gone. Dr. Sherry Forbes says essentially they leave several pig carcasses in different hard to reach environments. Think the river valley or remote areas around the city, watching through trail cameras to see what will feed on it, then tracking how far the animal went. Her research in Ontario and Quebec has proven useful in changing search patterns, but the animals are different. Even just a few hours away. Regional, we're doing this in Calgary and we have differences there. They have grizzly bears, they don't have vultures. Um, you don't have to go far to find the differences in terms of the animals. The study is funded through Dr. Forbes' research. For EPS, already expecting this to help with their 20 to 30 cases a year where they need to search for human remains. We find a partial, then obviously we're, you know, for the families, if we can recover as much as we can, it gives us as much closure as much closure as we can. The study is ongoing over all four seasons and several years, but the data and learning will be real time for Edmonton police. From North Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.